conversations I had with other dudes before I met him. Messages from middle school. Yikes. Had me unfriend all male friends from social media. Okay, God. Constantly accused me of cheating even though I never did. Did gas later. No, and I don't want to. Was never a good enough answer. When I moved, I FaceTimed him to show my view from my door and somehow he figured out why I lived without me giving him specifics. The list goes on. This was just one for the relationship during and after high school. Love does blind you. Yeah, love definitely does blind you. Um, but that's very strange that he figured out where you live. Like, what a stalker. I'm like, where are you guys safe? <laughs> Is everyone safe and well? Um, the constantly accusing you of cheating and stuff. He probably was cheating himself. Or he was just super insecure and like traumatized from a past relationship of another girl cheating on him and just can't get over it. Men don't know how to process their feelings. They don't know how to deal with emotions. Like, it's just so funny how men, like women, get accused of being crazy and emotional and whatever. Literally, men do not know how to deal with their emotions and process and handle them. So when men actually do feel something, they act like and do the most completely out of pocket things. Like my favorite thing ever was, I think the most the worst kind of woman is women against women, aka like not a girl's girl, aka the women that say openly that they don't think a woman should be president. Bye. I just can't. And I remember like there was something where some lady was like, they were like, why don't you think women should be a president? And um, she was like, well, they could just, you know, be on their period and be really pissed one day and like, you know, start a war. And I forget the guy's name. You know what I'm talking about if you've seen this, uh, this sketch. But he was like, oh, well, historically hasn't every single war since the dawn of time been started by a man? She was like, oh, well, yeah, like, I can't. Women should be the only people in power, by the way. We are level-headed, balanced, understanding, but firm, like, assertive, not aggressive, when we need to be, like, just superior all the way. Okay. Next one, getting mad for not texting back within two seconds when he knew I was busy. He got annoyed at me for not responding while I was at work. Also, he didn't like it if I spoke, if I so much as spoke to another man. But he was friends with tons of girls who I didn't know at all. Ugh, gross. Typical. Four years and never introduced me to his family. Always an excuse. Weird. Very, like, catfish vibe. I mean, like, unless his family just, like, sucked and he was, like, afraid to tell you. Or you were the side woman and his family knew the main girl. <laughs> okay. He had a girlfriend who he was on a break with when we met. Did you know this at the time? Got back together a month later. He promised a thousand times he was going to break up with her so that we could be together. Girl. Broke up with her six months later and told me he needed time to be single. Fast forward to another seven months later, I told him it was time for me to move on. He asked me to be his girlfriend. <laughs> I declined. Good job. We were FWB, friends with benefits, since we met. Learned a number of lessons there. Red flag number one, he was he had a girlfriend, obviously, which I'm not proud of my involvement. <gasps> Alright, well, you learned your lesson. I'm glad about that because, guys, if he cheats with you, he will cheat on you. Men are simple creatures. If he also don't start dating a guy that has just gotten out of a relationship, it's never worked out. My friends have done this. We've given them a try. It has never worked out. They're not ready for a commitment. They either 
single and they want to be, you know, a Playboy bachelor or they're going to get back with the old girlfriend. It's just, it's just inevitable. Maybe your cousin's hamster's dog's friend's aunt had a, you know, a, a husband that broke up with his girlfriend one month before they met said aunt, aunt, and they worked out forever, but it's not normal. you learned your lesson. Hopefully this never happens to you again because you don't want to be the side chick. Oh my god. We are team girls. We are girls girls. We want to tell the girl. Actually, well, it depends, but okay. Not having a healthy way to express their anger because of because eventually they took it out on me. Not respecting boundaries before the relationship begins. Two different friends would ask me to be with them every single time we hung out. I said yes to a relationship because he wore me down and I was so annoyed. I don't know. Okay, I'm a little lost on that one. <laughs> I think I read this before. Somebody said, being a short king. <laughs> um, something I'd avoid in the future is dating someone who doesn't tell me what's wrong for hours on end. I would always show that I was ready to communicate and it just wouldn't work. I mean, I get that you gotta give them space, but it just can't last too long, especially if I have no clue what I did. Totally. I feel you. Definitely, um, if I'm just being transparent, like, Tony is a stubborn person and I'm always the one that's, like, ready to talk and communicate and, like, he needs time, whereas my, like, feelings have, like, a five-second rebound rate. Um, so... I have, we have trouble with that and bump heads there. So, I feel you. I'm sure that, I think I, I think I read most of the other ones, honestly. There might be some at the bottom. There was 50 comments. Okay, wait. Oh, I don't think I read this. When I was 18, I dated a guy who made a whole show out of everything he did opened the doors for me, made me walk on the inside of him on the sidewalk, away from the street. That one, I think, is, like, much. Same with the holding the door, like, opening the doors for me. Like, obviously, hold the door for me if we're going into a place or a business, and it can be nice if they open the door and let you go in first. But, like, if I'm in my car, and we've, we've parked, or if we're in your car and we've parked, and I'm in the passenger seat, I'm not going to sit there and wait for you to open the door for me. I'm 29 years old. I can open my own door. <laughs> like, there's chivalry, and then there's, like, this is outdated and a little secondhand embarrassment. Okay, open the doors for me. What made me walk on the inside of the street? Yeah, that. I mean, how often are we getting huge puddles splashed on us? I don't know. I don't ever think about the side of the sidewalk that I'm walking on paid for everything, as he should, and made me feel like I was the one. But one day, he was supposed to pick me up for a 
to step up. 